ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره نعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا من كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا ما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله خير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم شر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار السلام ورحمه الله Tonight, inshallah, we will uh, finish with this uh, part, Qurud, and uh, for the last two weeks, we've been talking about uh, lending and borrowing and uh, the significant uh, applications in our uh, daily life. And last time we spoke about Hukm uh, Ziyada uh, the ruling on getting extra over the uh, amount lent or borrowed and we said any ziyada or any extra for the borrower uh, is okay and there is uh, it's permissible however any ziyada or extra that is uh, purely or uh, solely for the uh, lender it's riba and then we said in between there is a scenario when the benefit is on both sides and uh, it's almost similar and equal then it will be uh, okay uh, to have it for both borrower and, and lender. And we also talk about uh, some contemporary application of the Qurud and uh, we talked about uh, bank accounts and we said uh, bank accounts uh, by nature is actually this kind of transaction, <coughs> lending and borrowing. And we said the lender in bank accounts is the no, person, person. The person who's depositing his money, that is the lender, and the borrower is the one, uh, is, the, is the bank itself. And we said uh, the bank has the right to, uh, to invest this money because that is his, becomes his as he's being lent the money. And we said in the definition of, of uh, qarb or the definition of a loan, it's like you're giving someone the possession of it. So he has the right to do whatever they want with it. So any extra over it is okay for the bank. But since you are the lender, any uh, kickback or any return on your uh, loan to the bank is considered riba, as we have talked about. And from that point, we, did, we uh, concluded that uh, bank accounts, uh, whether it's saving uh, or checking, uh, whether it's CDs, Every time you deposit money into a bank, whatever the account, the account uh, type is, is haram in general. And we said, uh, with the exception of uh, necessity, when there is a necessity, to be when there is fear on the money might be stolen, might be uh, dangerous to keep it up, then we said that is the exception that the ulama have allowed it. But at the same time, you always try to find the halal way. If it's not, then you go to that uh, with these exceptions and with these uh, excuses to that to an extent that is minimal. To the extent that is that is minimal. So in a bank account like that, you deposit your money, you keep it checking, and you keep the riba out of it. And if there is anything that get mixed with this money, you you get rid of it as soon as you can. <coughs> Today, inshallah, we will continue with the, uh, some financial transactions, uh, contemporary financial transactions uh, that have different names as we talked about bank accounts. No one says bank accounts are, are lending and borrowing or they are loans. No one think about them like that, but in reality they are. And there are other more uh, financial transactions that very much the same way and uh, was able to, to gather some of those and uh, as well as uh, their exact uh, definition in the, in the English uh, investment. In, when I say English, I'm meaning the English market, 
the the their, uh, the terms used in the in the European market as well as American, so we can know exactly uh, what it is. And uh, one of those things uh, are the bonds, the bonds, uh, or what they call in the Arabic senadat. Uh, the bonds, just a small definition, as I got it from one of the dictionaries, a certificate of debt issued by a government or corporation guaranteeing payment of the original investment plus interest by a specified future date. So that is the bond. In other words, or senadat, in other words, is uh, the government wants to, to start a project, okay? Or a person wants to start a project, a corporation, it's mainly government or corporations. They want to start a project, whatever it is, housing project, uh, park, uh, whatever it is. Uh, they want to build buildings, they want to do hotels, whatever it is. So they don't have money though. So what they do, they issue these senadat or these bonds. The bond is very much like a certificate. Okay? Let's say the, 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 project, the project will cost... The project will cost, just to keep the numbers easy, a million dollars. Okay? They don't have the money. So they issue uh, bonds or certificates. Each certificate, let's say a thousand dollars. So you will have a thousand certificates. Okay? Because the project will cost a million dollars. Each certificate is a thousand dollars. So they will issue a thousand certificates. And they will sell them for a thousand dollars. That is one kind. There are many, more, many, many types of bonds, but I'm just giving you the simplest type. They will uh, sell those bonds or those senadat for the value that is what they call nominal value, the value of the certificate itself. So it says thousand dollars, they will sell it to a th for a thousand dollars. At the same time, there is an agreement that once the project uh, flourishes, once the project is done, once the project brings in uh, profits, they will buy it back from you for a thousand for the value, okay, plus interest. That's one way. Also, as long as you have those senadat or those bonds, you can sell them also in the market. Those values go up and down as well, based on the project, based on the corporation, based on how the government is doing, if it's one, the one who issued these certificates or these bonds. Okay? So the same thing happens there. So, in other words, if you look at it uh, more specifically, you find that the person who buys those bonds is a lender. He's lending a thousand, if he buys one bond, he's lending a thousand dollars to the, to the government or to the corporation so they can benefit with, this, with the money through their project. All right? And we already established the fact that any money or any return on a loan that you give away any return for the lender is considered whatever. So from this you understand that bonds are haram. So investing or investing in bonds is haram as well. Yeah. You sure you went to med school? <laughs> <laughs> well, study a little bit here. I'm studying for you guys. All right? For the terms, to get the terms. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, so these are the bonds. That is the definition of a bond. And also there are many, many types. I got you some. Could yeah. you lose a little? Yeah. Could you lose on the bond? Yeah. No, there is no loss. That is the issue, which I, I was going to talk about in a little bit. But uh, since you brought it up. The issue with the bonds, as I said, they sell you the certificate or the bond, and they guarantee an X amount of profit. All right? They guarantee interest. So, if they make money, they will pay you the interest. If they don't make money, they will pay you the interest. And that is riba. Riba is you're not responsible. If it was that you'll buy, all right, and uh, if they make money, they'll pay you your percentage. If they don't make money, you lose or you get nothing. That is mabawa, that is tijara. That is business, that is permissible. That is when you go partner with someone. You go partner with your money, 